Hi everyone, Sandman here. Today's video is brought to you by a donation from Elegant Lord, and here's what he has to say. Hey Sandman, I'd like it if you could make a video for my friend Biff. He's a blue pill guy that's being used by a girl that he hangs around with. She uses him for rides to work, as well as an emotional tampon, and blames everything that goes wrong in her life on him. Biff isn't a bad guy, he's just misguided and led on by this girl. And she won't even go out with Biff, even though he's actually shown that he has strong feelings for her. And it's not only me who sees this, but our other friends as well. So Sandman, Biff is blinded by his feelings, even though the girl shames and mistreats him. And no matter how badly she mistreats him, he still does stuff for her. One time they even got into a fight and she was crying, and then she used her crocodile tears as a guilt trip to basically keep him under control, like a good little mangina. She has interest in other men, and says that if it wasn't for Biff, that she might actually be with some other guy. But simultaneously, she also claims not to be in a relationship with him at the same time. WTF. I've tried to tell Biff about some red pill ideology, but he just doesn't seem to care. So please, Sandman, help my friend Biff see what the female nature is truly all about. And thank you. Well, Elegant Lord, thanks for your message as well as donation. And hopefully you don't mind that I've reworded your comments a little bit so they're easier to follow for everyone else out there listening. What you're describing here is a case of the hopeless blue pill man. I know this because I was this man in the past in my own relationships. I didn't want to see or hear what my friends were telling me at that time. And I was lost in my own little white knight gynocentric Christmas, where visions of vaginas danced in my head. And my friends used to pour buckets full of red pills on my head, and nothing seemed to work. Maybe that should actually be the MGTOW bucket challenge pouring a bucket of red Kool-Aid, or possibly red pills, all over our bodies. Who knows, it might actually catch on, and would certainly get some attention from the media. But seriously, some men are too far gone to be helped right away. And in my own life, I want to talk to some of my blue pill friends out of their toxic relationships, but it only works when a man is burned, and then you basically offer him reason for his pain, and that makes perfect sense. Men usually lack emotional intelligence, even though most of us are highly educated. We see ourselves as intelligent and competent when it comes to worldly matters. But when it comes to women, many of the most intelligent men are absolutely clueless. Your friend Biff could be a nuclear physicist or engineer for all I know. But it sounds like he has absolutely no clue when it comes to being friend-zoned by a woman. And whose fault is that anyways? I think it's the education system because it keeps men manginas by feeding us facts instead of teaching us how to think critically in social situations. A street education is often far better, and I know a few self-made millionaires that learned about life by living it instead of reading it in a book. But men today are in school until well into our 20s, and we lack the social skills, and women often walk all over us. And smartphones are making men dumber and dumber when it comes to women. The state, it seems, wants book-smart male academics, and not necessarily street-smart male hustlers going their own way. When I hear stories like this one, Elegant Lord, I think about helping blue pill men as if it were some form of triage. During wars, doctors and nurses help the patients that can be helped and then give morphine to the guys that have no chance of surviving. And they do this to ease their pain, but at the same time they know they can't be helped. So a little bit of advice to everyone out there, help the men that can be reached first and then help the other ones that are further away a lot later. Elegant Lord, it sounds like you want a specific step-by-step -step guide on how to wake up your friend Biff. And the solution you see is not serving your friend a one-size-fits-all approach and solution and hoping he changes. You've got to reach deep down into his emotions and bring up an emotional response in him. Piss him off if you have to. Make him angry, annoyed. Do whatever you can to reach him emotionally. In my own life, what ended up getting me to end my 10-year relationship was a female friend of mine basically snapping me out of dysfunctional reality and basically telling me that my relationship was with the wrong person. And no, she wasn't interested in me at all. She was interested in helping me out, kind of hard to believe. And the girl I'm talking about is like Diana Davison. And I still can't figure out Diana either with regards to her motives. Both of them are a complete mystery to me at this point. You can't reach most men with calm language and rational thoughts. You actually have to get emotional and pass that emotional buck down to your hopeless blue pill male friends. That's the only thing that snapped me out of my trance. And I know other men that it also worked on. That's one of the reasons I use pictures in my videos that stir up the emotions of the men that are watching them. I make men laugh, cry, think, and feel something. And I've noticed that the most successful and most watched videos are the ones where I'm the most passionate and completely irrational. Male freedom, unfortunately, doesn't lie in rational thinking. It's found in motivating men in other ways. You gotta think like a coach motivating football players before the game or at the halftime in the locker room. 
He doesn't throw around statistics and facts to inspire the football team. Instead, he stirs their emotions, kicks the trash can around, and gets emotional like a woman. And the coach is almost acting like a woman in the locker room, shaming the male players. And at the end of his shame talk, he often leaves them on a high note and inspires them to take some sort of action to basically win the game on their own. Biff needs to be shamed and then inspired. You need to put him down, destroy his self-esteem and ego, and basically then inspire him to take an empowering course of action. With regards to the men's rights movement, it's currently failing because it serves men facts and tries to motivate them using that type of information. You've got to get Biff to feel something. As many of you already know, the most emotionally motivating thing in the entire men's rights movement is Big Red, or Chanty Banks. She shames and puts men down and destroys their self-esteem and ego on the street, and then they go to a men's rights meeting and watch men's rights videos and are inspired after hearing the insults coming from Big Red. Also notice that the red pill never seems to fully cement into a man's head unless he's been watching multiple YouTube channels over a long period of time. When I became a MGTOW, I listened to the extremely depressing compilations of Stardust, depressing the hell out of me, and then watching Girl Writes What videos, basically which made me feel that female nature was also bad, but her delivery was in such a more positive way, so that's why I believe that her audience has grown so much in the last few years. That and the fact that men like to hear a woman tell them that they're right for a change. Because most of us already know that we've been told we're good for nothing for most of our lives from women. I don't know which technique will work the best for your friend Biff. You can try to insult his choices, reason with him, shame him, and then motivate him to move on with his life and leave this girl. A man has to be destroyed first before he can be built back up. And that's exactly what the military also does when it trains soldiers. The armed services seem to have male psychology all figured out. They know what it takes to motivate a man, make him disciplined and productive. MGTOW is growing because men going their own way aren't afraid to attack men for being simps, manginas, and white knights. And the men's rights movement welcomes white knights and manginas in turn. So you can see that that's one of their main problems. But with regards to my coaching analogy, have you by comparison heard or seen a male coach teaching or coaching a female team? He uses emotional reassurance more than shame to motivate women. Oftentimes you can just as easily destroy a woman's ego, but you can't rebuild it in just a few sentences later. If you destroy a woman's emotions, it often takes a much longer time in general for them to be built back up, assuming you can destroy a woman's emotions in the first place. With regards to my own approach to reaching hopeless blue pill men, my strategy has always been to deliver the depressing news of female nature in a semi-positive way with a positive tone of voice. After creating videos for six months on my YouTube channel, I finally realized that if I sounded depressed, angry, and negative, I only gave men half the story. So I needed to inspire men with my pseudo-broadcast voice to make them feel more positive. Because people associate a radio voice with positivity and fun. And I felt it was important to deliver bad news with a smile to some extent. And when I did that, a few months later, the number of listeners nearly quadrupled. Men that have fully digested the red pill and are angry are ready for a positive voice to motivate them and tell them that life isn't hopeless. That's another reason so many men ask me questions filled with hope. Exactly like yours, Elegant Lord. They want hope in a hopeless situation. And the truth in this case is, I don't know if Biff can be reached. Maybe you need to knock him out like George McFly did in Back to the Future. Sorry, but I just couldn't help myself in saying that particular line. To me, it sounds like Biff feels overwhelmingly positive from being in love. But feeling heartbroken is often three times more intense in the negative direction. But the sooner Biff goes through that pain of heartbreak, the sooner he can wake up and enjoy the rest of his life. And with regards to the girl that's friend-zoned him, she needs to be told to take a hike. Maybe start hanging around with Biff more and more so that you can basically get on her nerves. And when she tries to cut him off from you, it might actually evoke an emotional response in him. The only way I think that Biff will wake up is if he's actually presented with an emotional choice. And the loss or the fear of losing his friends might actually work. But most men sail past that fear and never look back. Or you could tell Biff that she's basically just using him, and eventually she's going to hang out with other guys, and basically lose complete interest in him. There are so many ways for you to plant the seeds of dissent in his mind. When my friends did this to me in the past, I was angry with them at the time, but after I came to my senses and got out of those bad relationships, I thanked them for waking me up. Sometimes being a friend means hurting your friend so you can help him down the road. But then again, sometimes you have to let your male blue pill friends or family members go and just accept the situation as completely hopeless. I have a couple of buddies that I just left that are dealing with things on their own because I saw that getting them out was completely impossible. Anything I said to them would basically be repeated to their wives. And eventually their wives started to hate me and started turning them against me. 
It was a vicious circle and cycle. An elegant lord, if you do talk to Biff, say small things first, just to test to make sure that he doesn't tell that girl everything that you basically tell him. If he repeats everything you say to her, then you basically have an extremely large problem. A bigger problem than you originally thought. And at that point, he's basically a hopeless blue pill man. He thinks and says what women say, and he basically acts like an agent in the Matrix, collecting everything that free men are saying, and reporting it back to the female overlords. That's how I define a hopeless blue pill man. A man that trusts, repeats, and does everything his female partner wants from him. You're no longer talking to a guy at that point, you're talking to a woman with a penis. Even when I was a blue pill man, I was never actually that bad, where I would actually tell my partners everything. I at least kept some of the real estate in my own brain, exclusively to myself. Anyways, thank you for your donation, elegant lord. And I wish for Biff's sake that he's not actually a hopeless blue pill man like I've just outlined, but one that can actually still be reached. And as for everyone else, please follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook to get tomorrow's video today. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.